Oh, yeah. Tastes like the tears of all the people I've offended, man. I, I hope not. I hope I don't come across that brash sometimes. But this is the segment where I'm going over metal opinions I could have been wrong about. This is the second part of the series where I'm giving some time and space from these albums or bands or music opinions that I've shared over the years and see if I can change my mind. I've listened to these albums since trying to form a new opinion. So let's see if I become a new man, a much kinder man. I, feel, I, try, to, my, I try to be fair and kind all the time. Shut up, burp, stay on track. Hey guys, these are the metal opinions I could have been wrong about. All right, first band that I want to talk about is Architects. Man, these guys are like top five favorite bands of all time for me, and I don't know if I can say that anymore. Now, when I talk about Architects, I absolutely love the dudes behind the band. Um, I, I really like what they stand up for. I think they're such cool dudes, and I would love the chance to talk to them. But if I'm being fully transparent and honest, I have not been connecting to the new albums as much as their older material, and it's not me being stuck in the past. I want the band to evolve. I want them to change, but I just find the new releases um, have been decent, but I haven't been really going back to them. So I'm hoping to change my opinion by listening to these albums. And first off, let's talk about for those that wish to exist. And this is what I had to say about that record. This didn't strike a chord with me. This, it's not that it felt lazy. It does not feel lazy whatsoever. There was a lot of work into this album. Problem was, I think they just missed the mark. They missed the big mark uh, big time. Yeah, so that was harsh. Also a little bit blurry too. In my opinions, now listening to the album again, kind of the same. I'm hoping to change my opinion, but Animals is still the song that I go back to. Now, when Architects does this alternative metal style like they did in Animals, I think it's a it's a home run for me. They have also done like a cover to Deftones, which is incredible too. Uh, when Architects does this style, like I think it, they're really good at it. That I would love a full length with this particular sound personally. It's like thrice -y, a little bit deftones -y, and they crush it with that sound. Now they go for these big rock anthem tracks that I'm not really connecting to too much, but they still have like headbang groove downs with like broken lungs, these big emotional choruses like in Dead Butterflies, this course is dead is a, you know, a heavy metalcore track. There's a lot of moments that I like about this. And I think for me, it's hard to separate the old architects that I really, really enjoyed and with the new architects because the old architects was just raw, emotional, like slightly progressive kind of metalcore with, and then the newer albums are more arena rock sounding catchy tunes. And for what it is, they're crushing, man. The streams that they're getting, the big arena shows that they're playing. Like, I'm so happy for this band's success. So who gives a shit about what I have to say, right? And I want the band, again, to succeed. So I'm stoked for them. I just am not really going back to these albums that much. Now, I do enjoy this record a little bit more since my initial reaction because the big, you know, surprise to like, oh, this is the new Architects, I guess. But I still feel the same way about this album that I did originally. Now let's go to their next album, The Classic Symptoms of a Broken Spirit. I just was a little bit bored by it. You know, I, I found this record to not be very engaging. I felt like a lot of the hooks, like I said, were just like really in your face. Like sometimes, yeah, man, I'm, I'm pretty harsh, but I'm trying to be just, you know, brutally transparent with how I feel about these records. And with this one, yeah, I still feel the same. You know, I listened to it at the gym and I definitely had a good time. Like, you know, it was helping me with my set. So there's that. I did enjoy it a little bit more, but I'd rather go back to the older Architects albums for me. Now, they do have songs like Burn Down My House, which again is that alternative metal style that's kind of similar to Animals or their Deftones cover that, again, I would love them to just like, you know, double down on that style. Yeah. Architects can do whatever they want, and that's what they're doing with these records. I respect them for actually trying so many different ideas and styles and experimenting with their sound. 
on these new records. I really condemn them for that. And they're crushing it. When I saw them live recently, you know, half the crowd, more than half the crowd were like shouting out all the new songs, which is awesome to see. For me, though, it does rely a little too heavy on uh, a lot of effects and a lot of samples used in the production because my favorite album is still Hollow Crown. And, you know, that could be just nostalgia. I am But that album was very raw, intense, just in your face kind of music where this is much more well produced and a lot of attention to detail and samples, but it kind of takes away the experience for me personally. The green can, you're still looking for the last laugh. So love that the boys and architects are crushing it. So stoked for them. And going into these records, you know, I enjoyed them just slightly a little bit more, but I do have to admit, after checking them out again, I still feel the same way. So I don't really feel like I'm wrong about these opinions that I have. I still feel the same way, but I'm so stoked that Architects are crushing it. And now working with Jordan Fish, I think there's going to be even more cool experimentation with their new sounds. So I'm still stoked to check out the new Architects stuff when it releases. Now it's time to move on to the second band with albums that I've not cared for too much, to be honest. And that is Currents. This is a hot take with the metalcore crowd because they're really well respected in the metalcore community. Currents is a band that I've enjoyed with, the, you know, the EP I Let it, The Devil In, which is to me still my favorite work. But then The Place I Feel Safest is still a really solid record. Then when they dropped The Way It Ends, I was hoping for more of the extension of what they were doing there, but instead it felt a little bit more simplified. But I'm just feel like there's, I'm wanting more from this Band, or from this album and uh, I was underwhelmed I was very underwhelmed actually who is that little boy holy crap guys but I still kind of feel the same way but there's no denying like again I listened to this album at the gym holy crap the gen grooves like in uh, monsters was hitting <laughs> Um, the emotions that Brian conveys through his vocals are just so powerful. Like this is a really solid metalcore album, but I still feel kind of the same way that I did originally about this record. Now, Currents' old material was a little bit more, you know, shreddy and technical. And I guess the nerd in me was really gravitating towards that. <laughs> And then when they more went just on gent grooves with the odd like tapping kind of runs and stuff, I was starting to lose interest a little bit. But again, just like how I've been feeling the other past records that I'm checking out again, it definitely was more enjoyable. Better Days is a standout track too. Like there's definitely a lot of highlights with this record and I understand the appeal to it. I just was gravitating towards the technical plus the emotional and like the heavy kind of metalcore that they were doing with I Let Devil In and The Place I Feel Safe is a little bit more. Now, they also dropped another album, The Death We Seek. Not exciting. Oh, so much about this new Currents record is just not exciting to me. There's not one moment in this record that I thought was interesting. <laughs> like, I, I really... I'm sorry if you guys totally disagree with me, but I can't help the way that I feel. There just was not one single moment on this record that actually captured my attention well. Yeah, so I was not feeling this record. And you know what? I gotta admit, Remember Me is a really sick track that I definitely enjoy way more now than I did initially. But this album, um, a lot of the cons that I initially felt still feel kind of the same. You know, the production on this is a little bit muddy. Now, I don't know anything about production. It's all preference. But to me, from my personal hearing, some of it, again, just sounds a little muddy. And the ideas in this record feel like they're playing to the R slash middlecore crowd, which I don't really align with them too much. Now that could be a hot tape because I feel like a lot of people who watch me are also in R slash metalcore, but there's a definite sound that these people gravitate towards, which is like emotional, slightly progressive metalcore, which I definitely like, but I also want something that just feels a little bit fresh and exciting, especially when people are always saying album of the year in those forums. And to me, 
I love that this band is kicking ass and I understand the appeal to it to the metalcore crowd, but I don't really connect with it as much as, again, I let the devil in or the place I feel safest. There's definitely some bangers, but it does rely a little too heavy on the metalcore tropes that I've been hearing for like, I want to say 20 years, but this metalcore stuff that they're doing sounds quite similar to the past, like six years or so. So again, they're crushing it. But when it comes to Chris Wiseman's bands, I'm a little bit more of a fan of Shadow and Ten and what they're doing. The symphonic deathcore that their stuff is just fun, high energy, but also super dark and progressive. Like I, that's more my style, I guess. Um, even though I love my metalcore. So to sum it up, Currents is crushing it. Understand the appeal, but I still feel the same way about these records. Okay, so it seems like my opinions are really not changing, which they kind of aren't. But, but we're finishing off this video by talking about my other video that I did titled OG Metalcore versus Modern Metalcore. And holy crap, that, that was a war zone in those comments, man. <laughs> now, this is like the fifth or fourth video that I've made, you know, putting up like old deathcore versus like modern deathcore or whatever. Um, but this one really triggered a lot of people for some reason. Now, I've already done this video where I did 2000s metalcore versus like modern metalcore and it was like a little bit more like civilized the comments, but with this one, people were pissed. Now, it could be because I was favoring modern metalcore maybe a little bit more and the old head metalcore fans that watched me were triggered. Now, when I talk about that, I think they were kind of fair in a lot of the opinions. Now, when I put bands like Alpha Wolf versus Trivium, I fuck with Alpha Wolf's music just a little bit more. So, modern metalcore. Look, that that comparison is not even fair in the slightest. And I knew when I'm making that, it was just a fun content idea that I did for a live stream. And then I decided to put that stream onto YouTube. And initially I'm just like, you know what? I'm going to give it to Alpha Wolf because I enjoy their music a little bit more. And to be honest, I still kind of do. But if we're looking at it objectively, you know, OG Metalcore should have won because they have the history, the the discography, where modern Metalcore is still trying to catch up, that it's almost just not fair to even do these comparisons. But it was just a fun idea. And I just really want to shout out some of the modern Metalcore bands that are crushing it. With Alpha Wolf and Trivium, I will say, I was wrong about that. Sorry, Alpha Wolf fans, but I, you know, Thinking about it, Trivium and the riffs and the different kind of progressive song ideas or to the big, you know, metal anthems that they have. There's just so much more variety, so many more iconic riffs in Trivium's catalog where Alpha Wolf's music is generally just pissed off new metalcore. And then they have like the odd like slow song. So I like what they're doing and the pissed off metalcore kicks ass and they kick ass live. But yeah, that comparison, I think Trivium just with their catalog and what they've done to the metal scene is just so huge and it's almost not a fair comparison and that Trivium should have won that round. Now in that same video, I did Converge versus Knocked Loose. Converge were one of the bands that originated the metalcore sound. So I gave it to Knocked Loose. From a purely subjective standpoint and how I feel, Modern Metalcore! Whoa, people got pissed! You know what? I love what Knock Loose is doing. I think Knock Loose are becoming trailblazers in the modern metalcore scene. You know, getting on tours with Slipknot and other things. And Converge, they've always been a little bit more on the niche side of things. But people who know the history of metalcore and know Converge, very, very high reputation. To me, I was wrong about this one too. I know. Because this was just a fun video idea not to take and be taken so seriously when I initially recorded it. But if I had to reconsider this, I'd actually put this as a tie. Because again, Converge, one of the originators of Metalcore, but Knock Loose are also becoming trailblazers in the current Metalcore scene right now that I think a tie is makes sense for this round. Now, the last round that I want to talk about that I could have been wrong about was Kill Switch Engage versus Spirit Box. Now, I thought this was a cool round because you can argue Spirit Box are like one of the new goats of Metalcore and then Kill Switch Engage are definitely the old goats. And I gave it to Spirit Box. So bands like Spirit Box could run. However, I love Spirit Box and they're running right now. <laughs> that sounds really fucking dumb. But, but because of it, Modern Metalcore! I still will give it to Spirit Box. Whoa! Whoa! Kill Switch and Gage fans are having their pitchforks. It's so bad. 
you know, again, this is just like a subjective opinion, but I, I like Kill Switch and Gage. You know, they're definitely one of the pioneers of Metalcore, but Spirit Box are also one of the pioneers of modern Metalcore and bringing in a lot of people who do not listen to metal and especially a lot of like the female demographic that doesn't listen to metal and bring them into the metalcore scene. So they're both crushing it in their own regards in their own eras. I just like Spirit Box's music a little bit more. It's progressive, it's a little bit darker, a lot darker for me actually. <laughs> And those are just tones and styles that I gravitate towards a little bit more. So it's subjective opinion. Yeah, I, I give it to Spirit Box. Now I know R slash Metalcore apparently had a, a field day with that one. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> I don't care, dude. Yeah, I, I like Spirit Box's music. And uh, if you like Kill Switch Engage a little bit more, then yeah, that, that's for you too. It's funny because like at the beginning of that video, I put like burb notes and just kind of highlighting that this is just trying to introduce bands to people who don't know the music yet that's why i actually play the music videos instead of just talk about it because i want people to discover music through this channel people don't give a shit people don't give a shit about those intro cards they just want to go like <laughs> anyway the comment section of that was just like it's funny because of how ridiculous it was since music discussion is kind of trivial I love talking about music, but like uh, the the anger that people feel is just laughable, you know? So yeah, those are the music opinions that I could have been wrong about. To sum up this video, Architects and Currents, I still feel the same way about those albums. And that video talking about OG Metalcore versus Modern Metalcore, yeah, there's a lot of opinions where like, you know, that I'd change personally. But again, that video wasn't to be taken so seriously like the comment section would make you think otherwise. Uh, but guys, thank you for watching. Let me know if you enjoyed this video series. So comment down below, spice up my life. Guys, do you enjoy these kind of videos? What else would you like to see on the channel? Would you like to see me go over certain opinions that maybe you disagreed with that you would like me to highlight it for maybe a part three? Let me know, but thank you for tuning in. But on that, again, thank you for tuning in. Till next time, peace.